the art of barbering. Ah, the barber shop. The number one place you go to when you need to be resurrected. The place you go to when it feels as if you're lost. When come to find out, all you needed was to pay a barber a visit. Sometimes a barber is someone whom you go to when you need surgery done to your head. It takes me back to the Middle Ages, where the same person who did your hair was also your surgeon and your dentist and your blood letter. As you can see, a barber is someone whom you must trust with your blood, sweat, and teeth. Okay, so today we're going to go over the history of barbering, the struggles of barbering, and the art of barbering. So let's waste no time and get you seated. And fear no more, your barber has come to the rescue. All right, so the first blades were discovered around 3500 BC in the Bronze Age. However, the first barbering services themselves began around 5000 BC in Egypt, where they would use sharpened flint and oyster shells to make their tools. Back in the Middle Ages, barbers were paid more than surgeons, but this is because barbers had many more duties such as neck manipulation, the cleansing of ears and scalp, and the draining of boils, also known as pimples, not to mention the other services we talked about in the beginning. The barbershop quickly became a place of social gathering, a place of comfort and support, and a place of gossip. A place where you can escape the problems of your life and the problems of your wife. <laughs> Truly art, if you ask me. Now, although the barber's hands brings beauty to the male image, the real talent and skill isn't locked in within the barber's hands. That becomes muscle memory. The real skill comes within the barber's mind. You see, barbers go through many struggles, and most of them are mental. The three main struggles of the barber industry is the business struggle, the anxiety struggle, and the patient struggle. No matter how skilled of a barber you are, if your advertising skills aren't top tier, neither will your business be. According to ADP, barbers are only paid about 25000 a year, which is why you have to use various amounts, various techniques of advertising. One that really worked for me is using bar wraps where people can find you and book you. You can also use social media. This, however, depends on you tweaking the algorithms of different social medias so that your business becomes more exposed. And lastly, you can go up to people and offer them haircuts. This, however, depends on your persuading skills. But what if you aren't comfortable with meeting new people? Or what if you aren't comfortable with posting your haircuts on social media? What if you're struggling with negative thoughts? Like, you suck. You're taking too long. This guy will surely never come back to you. You're so awkward. Look at you. Why are you sweating? Why are you shaking? This guy surely thinks you're a clown. Anxiety is quick to build up when you're a barber, which is why it is important to keep your composure well collected at all times because talking down on yourself and beating yourself up won't help your client, nor will it help his haircut, nor will it help you. There's never enough learning to be done when you're a barber, which is why patience is so important. And that before and after transformation is something amazing. And that feel good sensation that your client feels after he steps out of your chair you don't want to let anxiety ruin that. Anyways. Van Gogh was able to to finish about two to three canvases a day. Picasso once took 35 days to finish a painting, and I take about 40 to 50 minutes to finish a haircut, depending on what services you ask for. There's, of course, the blurry fade, the crispy lineup, and the refresh and trim up top. Other services you can ask for is the trimming and lineup of your beard, your eyebrows, enhancements, and a design. Barber Jose from the Master's Barbershop in NYC likes to consider himself an artist, 
as he is always looking for new inspirations and is always working to perfect his craft. This is something that many barbers can connect to. Now, every artist has their canvas, and today, my canvas will be my little brother, Aldo. So let's waste no time and jump right into it. Okay, so first we're gonna debulk the size with the number two guard. Once that is done, we're gonna place the ball line. After that, you will hit that area with the full shaver to leave it as skin tight as possible. Once that is done, you will add two guidelines, the open lever and the number one guard open. You will then get rid of the, the top line with the 1.5 guard, the middle line with the 0.5 guard, and the bottom line with the bare blade. To get rid of the lines and blend them in perfectly, you have to play around with the lever. Now, how does that work? Let me explain to you. Okay, so to get rid of the middle line, for example, you have to hit the line with the lever with the one with the 0.5 guard fully open. This will soften the line, but it won't get rid of it, which is why you all, you then have to close the lever. And this will get rid of the line, but it won't fully blend it. So then you have to open the lever about halfway, which will finish out the job. It'll look something like this. Okay, so moving on to the top now. We're gonna take about an inch or half inch off the top, and we're gonna texturize the top by using a technique called cross cutting, where you basically slide the scissors over the client's head, closing them just enough so that they get a grasp of the client's hair. Okay, so now that we have the top trimmed up, blended in, and texturized, we're gonna move on to the lineup and the design. Now, you wanna set the line as neat as possible with the trimmers. Afterwards, you wanna hit that line with the razor blade to leave it as defined and close to the skin as possible. Here's the other side too. Okay, so once you're done with the haircut, you wanna take about a minute or two to detail the fade. It is important to use your mirror as your eyes may get tired and the mirror never lies. And here it is, the before and after. Okay, so today we went through the history of barbering, the struggles of barbering, and the art of barbering. Now, while this journey brought me many stressful situations, it brought me much more valuable knowledge. The journey of becoming a barber is one full of struggles, but so is life. So if you're ever feeling lost, pay your barber a visit. He is sure to change your life.